Hello, Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me for your October reading. Uh, energies of October are proving to be pretty big. Uh, so let's dive in and find out what is available for you. And as I'm shuffling these cards, I just want to pose a question. Are you ready for the North Node? These are Lunar Nodes. Lunar North Node being in your sign. Um. So if, let's think about that for just a moment. Lunar is intuition. It is the moon. It is behind the scenes. It is your fellow Earth, our fellow uh, water sign. And um, the node, North Node, is about your destiny. So you are going to be getting a lot of insight about moving forward with your purpose, feeling purposeful and fulfilled in the activities and things that you're doing in your life, being aligned with who you really are. So it's very soft energy, very soft energy because it's you and you are, I mean, you're very powerful in your softness. It's like silent but strong, right? <laughs> like very powerful. Um, it's very, you're, you're very, like you said, very soft, very subtle, but extremely knowledgeable and have the ability to get things accomplished in not necessarily traditional ways it's going to be the easiest way of doing things that's brilliant okay so we are starting off here with the wheel of fortune is your life expanding i do feel like things are getting bigger in your life this is about you um having to use your wisdom to go about things differently than the way that you had been taught and again your world's getting bigger being strategic about your next steps seeing that your world can be bigger you can have more yes you have stability that you've built for yourself but it's time to take that that sense of stability and go find out what's next all right so what we're going to do is use the um that was the gold foil all of my um all the cards that i do readings with are in the description box if you're interested in getting your own this is the art on um the gold foil is um traditional weight smith and i also use this traditional weight smith um um deck as well so we're going to pull from the second one to get insights on each of these each of these um three cards that I pulled. So we're, we're going deeper. All right. Um, the first card that came out under the wheel of fortune there that kind of stumped me a little bit surprising was the strength card reversed. Now, honestly, I don't think that the straight card can be reversed so much unless you're just really holding yourself back pretty hard. And then uh, now the, the second card is the queen of wands which is um crossing you she came out sideways so okay so <laughs> jupiter is right is, okay so jupiter is your um i think that it, it's one of your ruling planets you have two ruling planets it's neptune and uh, and jupiter are your ruling planets so jupiter santa claus okay the the one that wants that knows that everything that you desire and knows that the wisdom you hold inside of yourself and saying use that wisdom because we're getting bigger we're, we, life is expanding things that you have been paying attention to are growing and you are lacking the confidence it looks like because again strength is reversed and the queen of wands and both of these cards are about being able to face your fears subconscious fears the things that are below the surface so there's not actually anything i know what i know what the collective says i know what the narrative is around subconscious i'm not blind to that but it's in reality it's more like oblivious not subconscious okay <laughs> so it's there it's active inside of you you just don't want to look at how confident you actually are and tap into it because because you're bumping up against what is expected of you, what you have been taught, the traditional way of doing things, and the way that you now know you have to go about it. This is in broad light, daylight, making a shift away from either places and people that had been not working in your favor, beliefs not working in your favor, 
it's a if this is a this this card is is about new strategies because behind him is a base camp military base camp okay and he's wearing like a polka dotted clothes the same one that we see in the the three of pentacles where he wants to have fun he wants to be playful he wants to be joyful and so he's walking out in broad daylight with um things that he had gained from the military in this case it's weapons right um swords we know as thoughts and perceptions ideas um communication uh that kind of stuff so knowledge information so he's taking that information and he's now going out and he is running with it his on his own direction he's doing his own thing with it it can also be a card often interpreted as liar cheater stealer manipulator this is a card of manipulation so the way that you had been taught to do things the way that you have been shown to do things or the way that you others are expecting you to do things is not the way that you know how to go about it remember i was saying you're going to go about things the easiest smoothest way possible you are awareness okay you pisces are all about awareness all about being able to see things from a different a different angle than most people are okay um you have a different perspective and it's time for you to use that perspective and here's the thing what's crossing you is your own confidence right now all right it's time for you to know that your perception your perspective the way that you can see it's like taking a tool and using it in a very different way than the way that anybody else has ever used it before and you're like am i am i really good to do that should i be doing that what happens if i do that you got to do that okay because it's it, it, jupiter is saying hmm, that's your superpower and it's a you're about to be able to blow it wide open and to be able to use it to your greatest advantage to take care of you instead of taking care of other people because we know that pisces can take on everybody else's stuff right and it's you know no more no more you're not going to be the absorber of everybody else's energy anymore you're going to use your insights for your benefit and learn through that process that your best highest good is also everybody else's highest good okay i'm surprised we didn't see a card of boundaries here <laughs> honestly so i'm gonna go and uh get to dive a little bit deeper into that seven of swords let's get some more information about this guy he's uh definitely got a lot to say here and in, in square in the middle of your of your spread stop it we can't you have you ever used the word to define the word no that's not what that means what this means is there's a few things like this going on in your life it's it's layered it's layered all right we have the sun which is all about consciousness turning into reality oh this is around work it's your personal skills that you developed okay all right let's keep going here i'm i just i'm a transformation death card okay yeah all right let's keep going so i i, I want to say that this has a lot to do with work uh-huh definitely this is about work this is about being promoted starting your own um entrepreneurial business he's very entrepreneurial he's very professional very professional this um this king of, of wands and he is ready to take the next opportunity okay so you're having to move away from drama in order to be the best version of yourself so that you can expand your career horizons okay and so as you see that yeah yeah it's time for you to to plan be very aware of your world getting a lot bigger you see how the world that he holds in his hand is is like well my, i see my world is this big in my hand proportion here i see my hand i see my own personal world i'm holding my world in my hand 
and I see that there's a lot more out there that's available for me, a lot more. And this is coming out of a comfort zone. This is the castle you built yourself. This is where stability is. And this is where you're, you, you got your sense of stability, right? And it's time to expand, okay? So it is gonna be about planning, making making very strategic plans around getting out of your, com your own comfort zone in order to be able to have all of your material needs met in a very abundant way. This is experiencing financial well-being in a very new way, in a way that you have not. It's a big upgrade in your in your personal finances and um, material possessions. Okay, so we have the the um, nine of wands. This is about being able to have confidence. You, you've been through it. It, it. it looks like you fought hard for what you have. Okay. Fought hard for these opportunities. And he's about, he's about being able to walk forward, step forward with confidence, with conviction, with conviction and make his decision. Okay. So I think that through. Yeah. All right. So we have, we have here, this is your fellow water sign cancer, which is all about being able to create from harmony and love. Okay. This is very creative energy. She's here looking at her treasure, right? Of her chalice of what she's able to receive. Okay. And hold true for herself. And that's how you hear in your heart space. All right. And that is this, again, a new career opportunity. This is you, what you being able to be creative in your own world through a new opportunity. It's like you get to be yourself in this new opportunity. You get to really, really come out of any, any place, yeah, of conflict, internal conflict. <laughs> You're coming out of it. That's reversed. This is a card of conflict, battle with a will with others. All right. So if I had to say what what is your reading about here, it is about you being able to move into a place of confidence, breaking a karmic. Yeah, because this is the hangman breaking a karmic cycle from the past of um, maybe that was maybe that was um, like like lack of consciousness or your role in the world or all that you can have or all that you can be is this it, your your role is to take care of other people that kind of stuff right that that kind of narrative and now it's time for you to completely do a 180 on that and turn your your sights to your career path because you're about to get a, an upshift in your career upshift in your finances upshift in your personal um possessions and about to see your entire world change because you have changed that karmic cycle all right so you are about to change you're about to break what are those called um ancestral wounds that were within in you okay and the thing is is that those ancestral wounds, it's like you've always been looking at your spread here. It's like you've always been insightful in how those were not beneficial beliefs and the way that you were raised. Um, but you didn't necessarily have the confidence before to not be that, not engage with life from that place. Um, and now having having Saturn in your sign. All of you Pisces sons having your Saturn return. Yeah, it's about, no, this is who you really are. This is who you really are. This is what you can see is actually a much more beneficial way of going about things. Um, much more practical and supportive beliefs. And so you're able to dispel that from the past so that you can move forward with this new version of you that is extremely abundant okay that is able to make strong decisions as a leader make strong decisions as um in for your own career to be able to use your creativity in a workplace environment whatever that is for you either again entrepreneurial or or, or um a position that is a promotion but it feels very career related and not job related you're about to get a lot more responsibility, but you're ready for that responsibility. It's like, this is who I've always been. This is what I've always known. And now I get to show other people how to do this through example. 
and you can't quite see it yet because we have the moon. You can't quite see it for yourself yet. So let's get some more information about that moon here. Um, okay, so we have the King of Swords reversed. We have the Nine of Swords upright. King of Swords reverse, Nine of Swords upright. We have the Eight of Swords upright. Good God. Hold on just a moment. Yeah. And then, bam, breakthrough. Breakthrough. Absolute breakthrough here, you guys. We have... Oh, the emperor and justice. I'm left. I'm speechless at this point. I'm speechless at this point. This is about personal mastery. This is about taking no nonsense from anyone. This is a. This is about you going from this internal constant nightmare, never ending torment in your own head, not knowing your own truth, not being able to be your own boss, not being able to be the authentic version of yourself to complete rebellion and mastering. Boom. This is who I am. This is my truth. This is how I'm moving forward. This is the way it is. I am responsible for myself. I am responsible for my surroundings. I am not responsible for everybody else and their stuff, their emotional, the, the emotions. This is about fire. This is about you taking that sense of source and sense of self and being able to do what you know to be true for yourself in your life because you have full recognition now, full recognition of the balance between action and intuition. You also have the full recognition on what you put out is what you get back. And your karma, your karma is no longer going to be tied to anybody else. Your karma is no longer going to be tied to any other authority, any other belief, any other expectation or obligation. Nope. This is where you take back. What is that song? I take back my take back my life song. This is my fight song. Okay. This is my, what I, I, <laughs> whoever that is. I don't even know who that is. I don't know. This is your fight song. This is take back your life song. This is it. This is the month of October is where you're like, boom, this is who I am. And here's the thing we have the star card. And so I, I didn't talk about this is where you're stuck in victim mentality, right? You're just like letting things slide all the time it is where you've been in your head. You can't get over it. This is where you don't know who you are. And then boom, this is the healed aligned to a source version of you. It is this upright magnified by a thousand. Okay. So the king of swords is where you know your truth, you know that you're your own boss, you know that you're capable, your own wisdom is your guidance, okay? And this is where you tapped into source so that you're enhancing that wisdom through the real authentic version of yourself. Your energy is aligned with all of the blessings that are available for you. All of the blessings are available for you. You are now aligned with knowing that you can have, do, and be whatever you choose for yourself, Pisces. This is where you, it's a game over. Like it's game over for everybody else and carrying everybody else's emotional weight. This is where you literally do you. And I can't in the, the 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 emperor and the and the justice. She is about cause and effect. She is about making that strong decision, right? Based on what you know. She, when I see the when I see justice, she reminds me of the um of in the movie Neverending Story. 
where he goes through and Atreyu goes through and he watches he watches another um um knight or rider on a horse go through the sphinxes right there the sphinxes that he has they're, they're facing he has to go through that path and if your heart isn't true they open their eyes and they laser shoot and and shoot you into oblivion right and so he watches somebody else go through that and their heart wasn't pure and their heart wasn't true. Well, this is justice. This is Venus. Okay. In a fellow, Venus is actually in a fellow water sign right now in Scorpio. All right. And she's looking at you, Pisces. And she says, you know, you know, not to put up with everybody else's BS. You know, the truth you know who you are you know the smart way to go about it and you know that when you tune to yourself you can trust you 100 percent you're gonna walk through the month of october on that path with justice and the emperor looking at you knowing so they're on the outside. You're on that path. The path is the month of October. You're the one in the middle. Emperor is one sphinx. Justice is the other sphinx. All right. And when you when you look at when when you walk through it, you're gonna see that actually the emperor is you. It's just it's just a, a, a um like a statue of an aspect of you. And you're going to look at justice and you're going to see the truth of who you are. And you're going to see, I am the master of my life. I am my own truth. And I walk through this life, this, this portal, this gateway here, unscathed, knowing exactly who I am and how to move forward and to be that for myself. And if others want to use that as an example, great. But it's not my business anymore about whether or not they do. This is Take Back Your Life Month. Take Back Your Life Month. You've got big things that you want to do in this world. Big things. Places to go. People to see. Things to do. And you're going to do them. And you're going to have all the money and all of the joy in your in your career to do so you get to be very creative with how things move forward in um your place your workplace your 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 opinion is going to be well respected and i and i have a a, a good idea that it always has been but now you know it that what you have to say is re highly regarded highly respected and highly um almost revered right you being able to see things from a different lens than what most people see things is your superpower and you're stepping into it and you're using it full on full stop yeah uninhibited this is a really powerful month for you and it's like i'm done with everybody else's shit, and that's good that's a really good thing be done with it break those cycles break those patterns be you be you and you are going to love the rest of your life. This uh, this Jupiter and Saturn, yeah, it's, it's happening. It's uh, it's doing really good things for you. Really good things for you. You know who you are now. You know who you are. You know what you want. You know how to get there. And you know that you're worth it. And you're capable. All the confidence in the world. Okay, Pisces, I love you so much. Thank you so much for being here with me. If you have not, please do like, subscribe, leave your comments. I want to hear from you guys. How's your month going? Um, I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Thank you again for being here with me. And um, take care. Source adores you. And I love you all. Bye-bye.